Today in our 2017 Ford F-250 Super Duty, we're going to be test fitting the Swagman XTC 4 bike rack, part number S64665. We already have the bike installed on the rack. Let's take a closer look and show off some of the features. How the bike is held into place, we're going to have three points of contact. We're going to have two straps at each tire and a wheel cradle at each tire, which can be adjusted by loosening and tightening these knobs here to accommodate different size bikes and to assist with loading. We also have a padded frame hook up at the top and it's padded to make sure that your bike frame itself doesn't get scratched up once it's being installed. Let's go ahead and take our bike off and set it aside. We'll start with the wheel straps. And then with the frame hook, you want to push in on the trigger at the base here while holding onto the bike, push it up and out of the way. Now we're holding onto the bike to make sure it doesn't fall into the vehicle. Then we can grab our bike itself and set it off to the side. With it in this position, I'm going to give you a couple quick measurements. Measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outermost edge, which would be our wheel cradle here, we've added about 42 inches to the rear of the vehicle. Ground clearance is going to be about 27 inches. And our closest point is going to be about 10 and a half inches. Now, right now, we have it in the position of the loading position, being, meaning it's ready to have a bike installed on it. We have our front one folded down already. To show you our second position, we'll remove this pin at the base, and it'll fold down to either side, doesn't matter, then reinsert the pin. Now we have access to our tailgate to get what we need, and it doesn't make any contact with the bike rack, so we have full access. Now a final position we can show you is it actually folds up against the vehicle for those close quarter situations such as parking or putting it in your garage. To do that, we'll remove this pin and clip at the base here, then lift up. Reinsert the pin and clip to ensure it stays in position. And again, measuring from the edge of the bumper, now we've only added about 10 inches to the rear of the vehicle, so that made a lot of difference. And the closest point, just so you know, is going to be about two and a half inches to this edge here. How this installs into the hitch, we're going to have an anti-rattle bolt, which will take out the shake and play in the shank to make for a much smoother ride while you drive as well. And there you have it for the Swagman XTC4 bike rack, part number S64665 on our 2017 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.